you know, I've always sort of figured that people like me are killed. You got some idea, you got some understanding, maybe you got some methodology that actually is going to transform the species. Those in power do not want you to succeed. That's been the way all along. But now, correct, there's billions of us and hundreds of thousands of them, right? Remember that. There's billions of us and hundreds of thousands of them. And they're worried. The Dark Lords are worried. The Dark Lords are worried that the little humans are going to start to organize and start to figure things out and start to say, you know, maybe we don't want our world organized in the way that these guys are organizing. Maybe we're going to get rid of usury. Maybe we're not going to do the old, I'm going to give you this, and then you got to give me everything. Doesn't work right. So, I don't know about you, but me, <laughs> I have a lot of confidence about the future. I'm seeing something pretty amazing that's about to happen. We're going to go into a dip. It's going to go bad. Humans, you know, humans are funny. We have to have things go really bad before we kind of go, you know, I don't think things are working out here. I think I might have to do something a little bit different because my, my pot and my beer run out. As soon as humans run out of pot, and they run out of beer. Now you're dealing with a very irritated army. Most humans can put up with most shit if you give them the pot, give them the food, and you give them the beer. They'll put up with whatever the fucking shit those at the top are doing. But if they don't have their pot, they don't have their beer. Now. Things are different. So I feel like I'm one of the peons. I feel like I'm at the bottom of the ladder. I don't feel like I'm some, you know, I'm at the top and you got to listen to me. Go to my self-development courses and I'm going to get you free. Nah. I'm the guy that everyone says, what? That guy? Why is he in the room? Oh, not that guy. He's going to start talking about that stuff he talks about. We don't want him in here. So we're going to push him out of the room. Guards, get rid of that guy. He's, he's upsetting the plate. When I grew up, you had to have millions of dollars. You had to have a studio. You had to have everything to fucking just record a fucking thing, right? But now, everybody's doing it. Anybody can do it. But the problem is, everybody's doing it. Who wants to watch a bunch of fucking humans talking about whatever the fuck they're talking about? Blah, 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 blah. Hey, look at me. Aren't I good? Look how bad that is. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, so you got all these humans on this planet, and everyone's talking their shit. Everyone's, <laughs> you know, you, you got the CNN, you got the ABC, you got the NBC, you got the CBS, you got the CBC. <laughs> all these people are just talk, talk, talk. Okay, how many of them are actually giving you an accurate interpretation of reality? Like, how many of them have come to the point in their own understanding of registering why you are here on this planet? And my guess is, no, <laughs> they're not. They've been told by that guy over there to go 
say this to them people and make those people think this, okay? If you can convince those people to think that, I'm gonna give you like a couple, a couple hundred thousand dollars because you look good and you sound good and you're, you know, just, just make sure that those guys don't understand this because if they do, they're gonna fucking lynch us. So you guys do this, right? <laughs> but now the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> cat's out of the bag. <laughs> it's just like, there's all these humans here. We got this technology and we can say what the fuck we want. And maybe only one person, maybe two, maybe three, they go, hmm. You know, <laughs> I didn't hear that anywhere else, but you know what he's saying kind of makes sense. What he's saying is, hmm. So I'm one of those guys. I'm like the fly in the ointment. I'm the person in the back of the The person who's always been at all of these human events watching. I've been watching humans all my life. And I'm like you, I'm a human, right? I've been watching it. Go to the event, I'm sitting there, watch it, see it, okay, okay, talk, okay, okay. But I gotta tell you, I've been sort of trying to figure things out trying to assess what's going on in, in the humans are in your mind. You're going, okay, what's going on? Like that. Like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. Exactly. So we, we, we go through our lives. You reach the point of now where you're listening to me and you're going, maybe you're 30, maybe you're 50, maybe you're 60, maybe you're 70. You never heard anyone talk to me like this. Right, I'm talking to you, right? You. <laughs> and I'm actually talking to you as an individual, but I'm talking to you, the whole species. Because one day I know the whole species is going to go, who the fuck is that guy? Why is he saying that stuff? He figured something out, and now everything's fucked. <laughs> Everything. If if you did listen to him, or no 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 don't 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 don't, don't not, not Elisha Captain Sweet no no Captain Sweet I figured out what happened I understand what occurred on this planet. It was like a revelation. I was shown something. Well, I was shown many things, but I researched many things, but I got it. But the thing is, no one wants to hear it. <laughs> no one wants to stay long enough with me to understand all the little things you need to understand for you to go, oh. That is what the actual context is. Because human beings, like, you gotta understand something. We go into these groups, we communicate, we have a social gathering, we hang out. Da 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 do 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 and we all talk and we talk and we go there and go and go there. this construct a neo and matrix of what is going on. Right? And it 
some point you kind of go, what am I going to do? I, uh, I mean, I'm just this lone little individual human. I'm just by myself. What am I going to do? I figured something out. So I came in. Now I got to go teach people. You had charge money and they come in some of the classes and you know, talk to them about it. Okay, you learned that. Okay, I'm a professor. <coughs> but there's this thing called God. And this God presence being, whatever you want to call the big guy, the big cheese, is sort of sitting there going, here okay. I created all your beings I made this creation and I created this game for you so you if you pay attention to my game you're going to keep ascending you're gonna get better and better and better and you get the pop you get the light pop again so Jesus comes along Jesus comes along he says, so, <laughs> Hello, it's the Lord, it's God. Hi, how are you doing, Jesus? Who are you? I'm God, and I'm talking to you. I know this is kind of like Bill Cosby, but this is just, just go with me on this one. Um, Jesus, I want you to tell all these motherfuckers that they got help each other out. Those anchor dudes, they're fucking fleecing everybody, go in there, you know, throw their shit around, get on that mountain, start talking. Jesus goes, you know, those Romans, they're gonna fucking kill me, man. They got those spears, they took over the Mediterranean. They don't like things like this. God's going, just, just tell them about me. I'm the big guy. I'm in charge. You just go tell them, okay? Jesus is going. <laughs> okay. Just around. Just give me God's helping him out. So, oh, the wine, do the thing, do the thing. Da, 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 da. Jesus dies. Christianity. You know, these people go, yay, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Present moment now. Elijah, me, go on. Wait a second, this guy called Jesus. Okay, he talks about God. Wait, 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 God. God comes into me and says, okay, Elijah, you got to remind people about Jesus. No, no, no. Actually, no. It's not. God is just a presence. It's just, you feel it, and then you go, oh, wow, this is different. Everything's connected. It's nice up here. But these guys don't understand that. They're, they're just doing their driving cars, they're, they're fucking a lot, they're playing basketball. Now when you think about you, God's come on to whoever's talking. I know, but I want them to think about me. So you go down there, you be a prophet, you say, God is great, everyone come be on my team. The prophet's going, um, God, uh, you know, they're not going to believe me, you got to do something to have them believe that I'm the prophet guy. So God goes, okay, well, okay, well, we'll get you a few here. Internet? Uh, nah, global communication system? And nah, they do it by themselves. What could get their attention? Meteor? That really works. Disease? Plague? Nah, that didn't work. I mean, look at these guys. I mean, those guys are killing those guys, those guys, those guys, those guys. What are they doing? Why are they so stupid? This is God speaking. You know? Why? I mean, I, I gave all the, I told the Indians what to do. They followed, and they were warring amongst themselves. I didn't like that. And then those Christians, they were doing that. Jews. All of them, 
mean, come on. I mean, I'm God. You just give me some, give me some respect here. Prophets, God. And this is you. It could be you. You took some DMT and you had an awakening and you saw the multidimensionality of the universe and you're speaking to God. You're in there and you're going, like, hey, God. to your normal life. Uh, uh, is talking about things that have absolutely no interest to me. But I'll pretend to go along with you because I don't know what to do now. So I'll like live this life and kind of go along with my existence because I don't understand what to do with the knowledge of this God consciousness that they think is going to fade all of a sudden, I'm just a normal human being. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I know probably no one's listening to me, but maybe when after I'm killed by those guys, I'm on power over the control of the planet, they don't want the humans to understand actually what is happening. So they fuck with you with all their little <laughs> things, events, happenings, false flags, <laughs> stick in the ants. Am I making a point yet? I mean, I, I'd like to do a kind of show where humans actually start to self-organize and create a great, beautiful world, right? Wouldn't that be nice to have a show called The Very Secret Plan where you listen in and you go, that guy's talking about creating a whole new world and the people that are in the plan are actually doing it. And everyone not in the plan are kind of like not that swift and they're they're participating in the old paradigm that fear-based paradigm that's killing everybody and destroying everything why don't we go into the world of love why don't we love each other this guy's talking about the love why don't you then anyone who sort of sets himself up to be the prophet or the jesus or the buddha or whoever you know everyone's saying What's with that guy? I, he's full of shit. God talked to me here. God. So there's all this conflict and things about God, what we're supposed to do. And all of us are kind of like in front of a laptop like me right now, just talking, bad, 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 talking. What are we talking about? We're talking about what? Don't you think it's funny? Like right now, the whole world is shut down. Everyone's inside their house. Everything's stopped. They're saying, okay, there's this big flu or disease, and it may, it may be happening, it may, it may not be happening. But I don't know if you've done any research into conspiracy theories, <laughs> but you know, there's a group of humans that are trying to manipulate the entire species to be really stupid and to sort of go along with their shenanigans. And the media is supposed to protect the people from the government or the, or the people behind the scenes that are doing all these shenanigans. But, <laughs> but look, like, look at this, right? Nobody's listening to anybody. Nobody believes anybody. Nobody trusts anybody. And, and you know, and humanity has this momentum that's kind of going forward, but it's it's stopping now. It's stopping. And deep inside everybody, you know, you just kind of got to stop and kind of. Here we are, humanity, all species, the entire 10 billion, how many of them, those motherfuckers there are. Okay, we all just stop. Now what? 
like let's say it's a hard drive, like computer, click, all our memories erased. It's like Star Trek, right? That happened all the time. All your memories gone. Stop. Now what? Uh, who am I? What do I do? Who are you? you know, we have to restart the species. And that's kind of happening right now. And everyone's at a different level of conscious awareness as to what is actually occurring. Because if you get involved in the constant hyperbola or whatever's happening in the mainstream media, you know, you, your mind gets lost in that construct. And you start believing whatever they're, they're, they're feeding you. But if you sort of step back, and you don't participate, then you, you will decide. And, and, you know, there's just you. And that you is connected to, to this divine presence. And if your mind actually stops, you can sort of center yourself and be at one with this presence. But the presence has its great sense of humor and is always there kind of going, where this human is going to know is I'm in here. You know, you know, it's God, I'm God, everything's God. I'm in. But you have to put your attention. You have to kind of stop the mind, which is the mind's always going, right? It's it's always talking, it's always thinking, it's always the mind's going off. And you think that mind is you. <laughs> but when you get the humor of it, when you get the ridiculousness of being human, you truly get it. You'll probably laugh for a year because, you know, there's these beings or entities that are trying to control the cats. And we're the cats and we're running around, but cats don't like to be controlled. No one likes to be controlled. But because of this planetary infrastructure, there's this momentum of control of these people at the top and try to take them over because they want to get their money and they want to get whatever, they, whatever they're trying to do, but it's, it's actually ridiculous. It's like trying to balance jello and you're balancing jello and you think balancing jello is your life. But in fact, you just let the jello fall. Like, what would you do if you didn't have to work for money? Who would you be? What would you do? You know, we're in a game reset right now, but we don't know it. The entire economic system is going to collapse. Everyone's going to lose all their stuff. Everyone's going to be talking. But fundamentally, at the bottom of it all, it's just you, the divine presence, and everybody else. And then from there, we have to rebuild a new world. To rebuild that new world, we need to sort of imagine or conceptualize an organization of mind that is going to have some sort of harmony with the world we're in. And to do that is going to take some conversations at some time and uh, I built some tools to help you to do that and this is a long convoluted uh, enrollment conversation seeing if there's anyone out there who wants to learn these tools from me <laughs> ain't that funny <laughs>